In theoretical physics, we have the potential for Planck units. They are a special case of natural units that arise from natural constants, and they work under the idea that five natural constants can all be set to one. But the point of these videos isn't to say, look at all these things we can set equal to one. It's to say why we can do it in the first place and what it represents. First, we need to know what it means by saying set the one. Let us consider an example and set C equals one. C being the speed of light can be expressed as a number value and the units together are set to one. We can always express a given speed as a fraction of C. If I'm given a value of about 120 million meters per second, I can write it as 0.4C. When we replace the C with one, we get a dimensionless number. There's information lost in the sense that you cannot say which quantity the value of 0.4 represents. But the moment you tell me that 0.4 is a speed, I can say, all right, a speed would be meters per second in SI units, and a constant C can be expressed in these units. So we do just that and multiply by 0.4. The idea is that natural units make it easier to write down the equations expressing physical laws by using fewer constants. But I am not a mathematician, I am an artist, and it seems to me that our potential to form natural units must represent a great unity within the dynamic structure of our universe. In my future videos, I am going to explain how natural units can represent one dynamic geometrical process that forms the characteristics of three-dimensional space with one variable in the form of time.